Hi everybody, Josh here from Shama Sandals and we're in one of my favorite spots in Santa Cruz County. We're at Wilder Ranch. We're a couple miles north of uh, Santa Cruz and we're going to be testing some gear. Um, I have uh, been working on the Trail Stars, uh, our Trail Star sandals for you know a couple years now. We've been um, producing them, they're for sale, all that. And I've actually run quite a bit in them, maybe about 300 miles total. And um, I, one thing I've never done is really try them with the power straps. So I've got some power straps here today. I'm going to put these on and give it a try. I know that they'll, you can put the power straps on, but it always seemed a little bit redundant to me because of the, the new lacing system. But I was like, you know what? Why not? Give it a try. See what happens. See if it ups the level a bit. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to hit the beautiful trails to test it out. So the interesting thing is these power straps should work just the same as any other um, on any other sandal that we have. And it's not going to seem like a lot here, but I think it's going to actually be helpful because I've been doing a lot of running in these sandals lately. And what I've got here, see, it's it's very close to the strap we have right there, but it's, I think it's gonna add that little bit of extra security. It's gonna transform it from like a, um, you know, into more of like a shoe-like security. Okay, I'm gonna do this on the other foot. All right, so I put them on. This is the initial install. And yeah, it seems like a little, it's a little clunky. I'll admit that, but um, it feels pretty good actually. Um, there's a little bit of a different direction. It's pulling my foot back instead of just down. So I'm hoping that adds some value. Um, I've been running in these. These are This is how I do it. Um, I just test stuff on the trail. Um, I'm cr kind of excited about this video because I haven't really done much running lately on film. Um, but you know, even the last couple of years, I've been so busy testing new models, especially the trail stars and all the different stuff. I had different parts to test. I haven't really had time to get out on the trail and film and I'm really excited to do that. So I've been running a lot, 20 miles a week for years and uh, I'm glad to share it with you today. All right, let's go. All right, so I am about a half a mile in on my run. You can see my, I got my power straps on and I gotta say I'm really excited about them. Um, when I run, typically, uh, when, I, when I wear my sandals for running, if I'm not wearing the Trail Stars, um, I'm wearing something that's got the elite lacing system. I'm always using the power straps. It's just like a standard thing. Um, the way I set up the Trail Stars, it was kind of like a power strap. It's literally like an inch down. Um, the pull on those is more to the, it's more of a downward pull. Um, and the power straps, pull back towards the heel. That's always been their purpose, is to pull you back into the heel. And in any case, so I, I hadn't really thought of it like that too much, but I thought it would be redundant, and it's not actually. I feel like one level up secure, actually more than one level up. I feel like I'm wearing shoes. I feel like there's, there's enough connection to the sandal that I'm not losing anything that I would lose uh, going from a, a shoe to a sandal. So I'm really, really happy with them. Very comfortable. I just feel uh, nimble, feel agile, feel like the sandals are tracking perfectly with my foot. Um, so far it's a big success and I wish I'd thought of it sooner, but that's how these things go.
right, we're just about at the halfway point and we're setting up for, this is like the best view on the whole run. Here it is. Absolutely incredible. There's Monterey out in the distance, Carmel, all that out on the, the end of the bay. Moss Landing, you might be able to see a, two little smokestacks and, and uh, here's the west side of Santa Cruz where Shama Sandals is. Anyways, this view makes it worth it 100%. And uh, the run's been great so far. Okay, so we're at about the halfway point. Um, and so far, I'm, I, like I said, I've been testing these trail stars with the power strap. It's something that I really hadn't thought to do. Uh, I remember putting the power straps on one time when I first came up with the uh, trail star design, or at least the back half of it, kind of early on in testing. And I said, well, it could be done if somebody really wants to do it. But I, I didn't really think it was necessary. Um, my thoughts on that are it's not necessary for average use, but for running, it's great. It, it really levels up the sandals. Um, so I'm, I'm just so happy with the way they're, they're, they, they're fitting, the way they feel. Um, the whole point of Shama sandals is to put some thin material on the bottom of your foot so you have a barefoot minimalist experience um, and, and one that is complementing your foot rather than trying to correct it. And I think this really significantly helps, at least, at least for me. So I think the, um, the power straps are a really cool addition when you're going to run in the trail stars. Uh, a couple other things, might as well mention it. I'm wearing, uh, these RPM shorts. I did a review on them recently and I mentioned, you know, I, I like them for running and all that. Um, this is how I test stuff. I hit the trail and I run in them. I probably, this is probably mile 40 or so in these shorts. So I really actually use them. I love them. They're great. Uh, I've really been enjoying it. It's a great product. Um, finally, I want to do one more reveal. I mentioned I've been testing the power straps with the trail stars. I'm testing these RPM shorts, all that stuff. But I have one more thing I'm testing. And this is a big reveal, something I'm really excited about. Um, I am wearing... If, for those of you that are astute Shama observers, this is a what I'm calling the Trail Star Max. So this is a Maximus sole right here with the leather footbed, and they're awesome. We snuck the um, we snuck the Trail Star lacing system into this bad boy, and the result is. Um, just it's three mil three millimeters thinner than the um, than the mountain goat. So I guess it's a it's three quarters the thickness uh, of the mountain goat, and they're really flexible, great ground feel. Um, they really give you that minimalist experience. I'm loving them. They are more flexible. Um, so just all around, I think they're uh, superior for the minimalist runner. For everyone that's really been interested in the Trail Star, but wanted to go a little thinner, this is it. And uh, they're great, they're really good. I think you're gonna love them. So, I've, uh, just, I always, I'm full of all, all kinds of thoughts whenever I go running, but I'm, I always think about which trails I really like and why I like them. And, and one of the things, one of the things I was going to say about the Wilder Run, not only is it gorgeous, right? You know, you got the Pacific Ocean there on one side, and you got the mountains on the other. And it's the challenge of the trail. Um, this trail has these huge step ups. It's uh, some of the hardest hill running in the county. We'll call it mountain running. It is a mountain, I'm pretty sure. But uh, some of the most challenging uphill runs in the county. 
and uh, the trails are sometimes kind of wide open like right now um, and sometimes they're narrow single track uh, they get technical they're easy they're flat uphill just such good variety of conditions you gotta love it it's just awesome so anyways i highly recommend wilder ranch can't recommend it enough so i wanted to talk about the trail star maximus just for a, a minute um some of you might be thinking well josh why didn't you guys uh launch with the trail star max or something like that well the reason was um the lacing system for the uh trail star doesn't leave a lot of room it's in the sole you know it, it basically we need five millimeters in order to uh, have a place to seat um, the sole anchors and so on a, a mountain goat that only leaves like seven millimeters some of that's tread so you don't have a ton of room there at the end of our Wilder Ranch adventure in the Trail Star Max LE with the power straps and it was just a huge success. I really loved it. I felt very connected to the sandals. Um, a lot of control with the, with the front of my foot and the back. Um, I feel like this is a setup where this is gonna be my favorite setup for running. Um, the flexibility of the Maximus coupled with the security of the Trail Star uh, lacing system and the power strap, just an awesome combo. I felt like uh, totally in control and, and the ultimate thing is that my feet can relax and that's what you want when you're running. You want relaxed feet. Um, that's what we're looking for with the, the minimalist barefoot experience. So hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Happy trails. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.